Hey, what's up everyone? Jonathan Irwin Jerwinko here, and you're watching Jerwinko Gaming. I'm sure I don't have to tell any well-versed gamers out there, but for any newcomers to the hobby, it's worth mentioning that we are several years into the age of video game remakes and remasters. Sometimes these returns of the past are incredible, such as the Dead Space remake I reviewed earlier this year. Other times we find ourselves asking if this is really necessary, such as the upcoming Last of Us Part 1 on PC, which is basically a remake of a game that was already remastered back in 2014, only a year after its original release in 2013. After I reviewed Dead Space Remake, my good friend and channel backer Brian suggested that with future remakes, maybe I should play the original versions prior to release of the remake so I can compare them. It wasn't just a good idea, it was one I was surprised I didn't think of sooner. With that in mind, I have just wrapped up playing the Steam port of the original version of Resident Evil 4 in preparation to play the Resident Evil 4 remake. Over the next few minutes, I'll be giving you the opening minutes of each game using the Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw demo that Capcom released to let people get a taste of the upcoming remake. This demo covers parts of the opening cutscene, the initial cabin, the path to the village, and the village encounter that the original Resident Evil 4 is perhaps best known for, second only to how cheesy Leon S. Kennedy became since his prior outing in Resident Evil 2. These will play out in sequences before you, and after letting the footage roll of both games, I'll discuss the changes between the versions. Without further ado, let's dive into a small town slaughter. Welcome to Resident Evil 4, Past and Present. Resident Evil 4 1998 I'll never forget it It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. It's September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked, later, to join a top-secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, punishing missions, nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second, this time, it can be different. It has to. In the original intro cutscene, a large portion of it was dedicated to recapping the Raccoon City outbreak and then led into the downfall of Umbrella in the aftermath. 
In the remake, the cutscene focuses more on Leon during and after the outbreak, and even features a clip of Leon training with Krauser, introducing the fan-favorite villain far earlier and giving a glimpse of what he was like when Leon and him were on the same side. The demo does not show the present-day cutscene of Leon bantering with police officers in the car, so we can't compare this at this time. Huh. Forget your makeup or something? <laughs> What's the matter? Did you lose your nerve? Excuse me, sir? I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? ¡Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Anyone home? Sorry to barge in like this. Uh, 
buscou a um policial. Vinou aqui? Hey! Bruce, this is Condor One. Hunnigan here, what's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Need a location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are... Gotta go. Talk later. I'll let myself out. In the original Resident Evil 4, Leon could approach the vehicle he was riding in and get a few throwaway remarks from the two officers in the vehicle. In the remake, however, it appears that the police officers have already exited the vehicle, and upon failing to return, Leon goes to investigate. The police also have a more fitting vehicle for the terrain, and one that is clearly marked as a police vehicle. 
In the original, the vehicle almost seemed like an afterthought. The remake features a dark forested path, much longer than in the original game, with the cabin at the end being much worse for wear. In the original, they basically rolled up on the front lawn of a house in broad daylight. Entering the cabin, the layout is drastically different, and the world of the remake appears to be much more downtrodden, so that it's clear something is wrong from the start. Leon knows Spanish this time around, addressing the home's occupant who seemingly completely ignores him before Leon turns his back. After being attacked, the struggle is over quickly in a cinematic rather than actually fighting the occupant. In the original, Leon immediately contacts Hunnigan. However, after hearing a loud scream in the basement in the remake, Leon goes to investigate. It is here where one of the officers is found deceased. Heading back upstairs, the man previously thought dead attacks Leon with tendrils jutting from his neck and ears. It takes a few shots at a stab to go down, making the introduction of the parasitic Las Plagas infection appear far sooner than in the original game. While the original features Leon escaping the cabin and fighting hostile Ganados outside, this time you have the option to sneak, and considering I was running low on ammo, I did exactly that. Sneaking upstairs to avoid detection, a cutscene triggers, and we see our first interaction between Leon and Hunnigan, bringing the duo out of the codec-like radio interactions from the original game and into actual cinematics. After this, Leon gets to make his window leap escape, and down the trail he goes. It's also worth mentioning that due to the police officers having already exited the vehicle, the residents of the village do not slam a truck into their vehicle like in the original game. Rather than finding a living dog caught in a bear trap, the dog is sadly already deceased in the remake demo. Who knows, maybe this isn't the dog that we're all thinking of, and it's just something to try to break the hearts of veterans of the original. Beyond that, there is a small dust-up of Ganados like in the original, and one that tries to ambush you from a ramshackle shack. Resident Evil 4 Remake is substantially harder to stagger enemies, and with a deteriorating knife, it won't be as easy. However, with a well-placed movement, you can parry enemy attacks, which is a great substitute for the gunshot stagger and stab them to death method that was very popular in the original. It's also such a blessing to be able to move and shoot in Resident Evil 4 finally. Even in 2005, it felt dated to be forced to stand still with such a drastic change in the gameplay over the earlier games. 
There's also an absence of a woman impaled to a wall with a pitchfork during the trip down the path to the village in the remake. It's a peculiar choice because it's very clear that this game is not shying away from blood and gore and carnage, contrary to some loud voices on social media screaming that the game has been censored. Also, it appears that there's perhaps a little nod to the truck that I mentioned earlier from the opening sequence in the original, because there's an old truck parked on the path this time when you're heading down towards the village. It makes me wonder if the truck barreling toward you sequences from the original are left intact, replaced with cutscenes, or removed entirely.
kidding me. Approaching the village, there's two immediate changes noticed off the bat. First, Hunnigan does not call Leon and give him a player manual. Second, when Leon observes the village from down the path, the officer on the pyre is actually still alive. Leon gets to witness his death actively this time. In the original Resident Evil 4, the combat in the village kicked off almost immediately, but in the remake, I'm able to sneak around quite a while before things hit the fan. And once the game is on, it comes on strong. Given an even better chance to shine here in a major encounter, it's clear to see that the Resident Evil 4 remake is pulling no punches and wants the player to feel empowered by their ability to move while aiming, as well as being able to parry your way through many attacks. The swarm of Ganados feels more intense right off the bat, and it wouldn't be the same without the appearance of the burlap sack wearing chainsaw enemy, often referred to as Dr. Salvador thanks to the original's bottle cap collection naming him such. Dr. Salvador is made far more grotesque than in the original, with bulging eyes visible beneath the burlap sack, implying that the Los Plagas infection has definitely hit different for the Chainsaw Massacre fan. Perhaps the biggest changes here are the fact that the tower is no longer a safe zone, and while I didn't get to experience in my run of the demo, there is footage of people going up the tower only to have the floor collapse beneath them. Capcom picked up on all the old tricks, and has subverted expectations. That's the lesson that can be learned here. The other big change is the way the encounter ends. This time when the church bell starts ringing, you're not immediately pulled into a cutscene. Instead, the combat stops in real time and the Ganados all look towards the direction of the sound. The demo ends in a very similar manner to the original with a cutscene showing all the Ganados leaving and then a love letter to fans as Leon drops his trademark sarcasm with that familiar line. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Where's everyone going? Bingo? Thank you for tuning in to Jerwinko Gaming. I've been your host, Jonathan Irwin Jerwinko here, and this has been my comparison between Resident Evil 4 and, well, Resident Evil 4. The original version of Resident Evil 4 is available for $19.99 on Steam regularly, but is on sale right now for $4.99 right now through March 23rd. And the remake of Resident Evil 4 releases on March 24th and is available for $59.99.
Thank you for watching this video. Please like or dislike as you see fit, comment down below, and consider subscribing to the channel. Along with views and viewer retention, activity from viewers in these ways helps my channel and the algorithm. So keep that in mind whenever you're stopping by smaller content creators in this hobby we know and love as video games. We really appreciate hearing from you and interacting with you. If you really like my content and want to contribute to the channel in some other way, consider checking out my Patreon in the link down below. There are several tiers available that range from run-of-the-mill to outstanding, but every tier is valued because your support means everything. One last time, this has been another Jerwinko Gaming video, and I've been your host, Jonathan Irwin Jerwinko here, and I will see you all next time. Until then, stay cool and stay gaming. I got people that don't like me in the industry. I can feel your energy. You were not a friend of me. Cause I have been to places that you never wanna go. Yeah, I got dirt on people, but they act like I don't know. Yeah, I can do some damage, but I'll never rock the boat. Only takes is one post. Watch some fun like John knows.